so coming to design problems with asynchronous networks so what are the problems means when we are designing some asynchronous uh, circuits so during that time what all the problems we can see cycles a cycle occur if an input changes leads to set of repeating unstable total states or it is occurrence of two or more un unstable states so they're telling cycles cycle is a problem okay cycle occur if an input changes so here uh, cycle is based on change in input it's not like they are not taking one global signal as a clock uh, clock as a global signal and uh, they are uh, working out according to that okay so whenever there is a change in input they are taking that thing as a cycle leads to set of repeating unstable total state okay so this means that when there is a change in input so uh, you will evaluate next state right so this leads to set of repeating unstable total state so because of that uh, in change in input okay so you will go to some states okay that is an unstable state okay they're telling or it is occurrence of two or more unstable states so maybe possible that uh, two times that unstable state will come okay so what they're trying to say here is means cycle cycle if we think in term of synchronous network they are talking with respect to clock after one cycle but here they are talking in the change in input okay so change in input may be due to glitch also okay so that is their telling that uh, uh, repeating unstable total states okay so race condition if two or more flip flops changes in response to an input change then a race condition occurs is the flip flop may change at different times so what they are trying to say that uh, if two or more flip flops or state variable changes in response to input changes so they are telling that whenever there is a change in input your flip flop is changing okay change the state then race condition occurs since flip flop may change at different time so they are what they are trying to say is uh, if you take example of two flip flops okay one flip flop here one flip flop here change in response to the input now if we are changing this input okay so based on that your uh, flip flop will give the output okay then a race condition occur flip flop may changes at different times so both the uh, flip flop should uh, change at the same time okay but because of this input okay this flip flop is changing this uh, this flip flop is changing earlier okay so because of that they are telling a uh, race condition may occur okay actually both flip flops should trigger at the same time okay but this because of this input change okay flip flop may change at different times so that is what they are telling race condition if the order that the flip flop changes it does not affect the final stable total state then race is non critical what they are trying to say is uh, suppose you take a two flip flop okay so at uh, first passage they has to sample this value and second passage they has to sample that the uh, propagated value okay so uh, if you take example that you are uh, uh, input is uh, changing at this flop first okay and sampling after that input is changing and sampling then it's not a problem even if that is a race condition that is uh, overcome by hardware itself okay so that is that that is called as non critical statement if even if there is a race condition okay but your circuit is working means that race condition is not important so during that time there is no problem in your circuit your circuit is still stable okay so if the race can cause the network to settle at different uh, stable total state then the race is called as